Hi guys, it's me Malcolm, the movie wizard of Oz himself. And I'm here over at the Culver Theater. <laughs> Along with my good friend, friend Dame Dollar. Hello. So, I'm here to discuss my review of this new movie, movie that is basically the second part after after the after its predecessor three years ago. Doom part two. Yes. About three years is about time we get to see we get to see more more of Paul Paul Atreides, Atreides on his Rebellion against against House Harak Harakum. So yeah, not only we have the recruiting character, not only we have the recruiting characters from the first movie like like Rebecca Ferguson, and Timothy Chalamet, Zendaya, Javier Harvey Bardem, and Josh Brolin, and of course the villains like. Like Stellian Skarsgård and and Dave Bautista, but we have some new new faces in this sequel. We got Florence Pugh, who plays the who plays the em Emperor's daughter. Daughter. We got Christopher Walken, who plays the Emperor himself. And we got Mr. Austin Butler, Elvis Presley himself, playing the villainous Fjord. Fjord. Oh. I gotta admit, I never picture Austin, Austin Butler as the bad guy. Even though he doesn't look like Look like the original oh, that Sting portrayed, trade in the trade in that movie. I gotta admit, even even as a bald villain, he still looks good. Mm -hmm. Boy, it this movie was so enjoyable. It was so exciting. It really did live up the hype. Hi, I'm not gonna lie though. I know. It really felt, it really felt like Star Wars Episode Five and Episode Six put together. I I love everything, everything about it. I love the characters. I mean, Florence Pugh was absolutely gorgeous in this one. I really do love it how she dressed. Dress. I really did love Austin Butler's. Performance in this one, he he was so he was so vile, but in a good way. I even do look, admire Harvey Javier Javier Bardem's Dem's portrayal in this. He was he was so cool, cool though. Same goes with Zendaya. She was so awesome, awesome though. I really did love the romance between between her and. And Paul, they they were so good together. In fact, one of my favorite parts is where Paul finally rides, fights those those giant worms. I mean, those giant worms were crazy, crazy though. They were amazing. I really love them. Uh, what else? So, oh. I really love the car. The costume design sign for Lady Jessica as as the Reverend Mother, although she looks styling, though. I gotta admit, when 
when they use their powers to influence someone, it did sound like, they do sound like hags, like their throats, like they have scratchy throats, like, like nails on a chalkboard. Oh, Lord, what else? Oh. But I really did love the ending, but it didn't feel like, like the, felt like a true ending. Like, it felt like another, a, felt like the start of a new story, if you know what I mean. Maybe it is, so it is. So it could be possible they could make a third part of Dune. Okay, okay, you guys. So let's let's move on to my friend Damien, shall we? So, what do you think of the movie? Um, it was good. It was really good. Yeah. Um, who was your favorite? Who was your favorite actor in this? Um, Zendaya. Of course. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, what do you think of the be the betrayal of Austin Butler as as Fjord? Um, I've never seen him before. Yeah. It was interesting. Mm. Uh, what do you think? What do you think of Timothy Chalamet as as Paul? He was a good guy. Yeah, he was good. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, so, so tell me, what, so far, you, I know that you already saw partly of Dune Part 1, one, but tell me, what, what do you, which move, which, which of these two movies do you like so far? Mm, probably... The one, the first one is like an introduction to me, but the second one kind of adds like more story to it. So I guess I could probably see the second one. The second one? Yeah. Uh, I'm glad. Okay then. And what else? I yeah, I think that's it. Well. Well, guys, there you have it. You didn't I didn't read it. I what? You have to read it. Oh, I'm not done yet. Oh. Well, guys, that's it. Let's hope there there should be a third one. One. Well, I would love to see how how will goes go goes next for Paul. So now for my score for Doom Part Two, I think I'll give this one. A nine, definitely a nine. Nine. Okay, Damien, what about you? Um, <clears throat> I gave it about eight. Okay. All right. That well, guys, time for us to go. So, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and be sure you all stay safe, stay healthy, and make sure you all see Doom Part Two this weekend. Bye.